Hello, this is Gary DeTonica from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I wanted to take a look at what could be coming in Lightroom 6. Lightroom 6 is sort of uh, rumored to be coming out on March 20th, and it'll be interesting to see if they stick to that deadline. Originally they had said it might come out on March 9th, and that didn't happen. So um, there are some sites that are publishing some rumors about what could come out in this version and so far the only thing I think that Adobe has confirmed is that you will need a more advanced operating system because it needs to have a 64-bit to be able to run so Windows 7, 8 uh, will have to have run in 64-bit and OS 10.8 to run this new uh, program and uh, this site DIY Photography has a list of things that um, they think are coming. Uh, some of the things on the list I are pretty much already here, but uh, we'll take a look at some of these. Um, of course, Lightroom is a great program for editing your photos. It's fast and efficient and uh, pretty non-destructive, and they list some of these things here, but I think it's pretty much that already. Um, of course, I'm sure they're going to have performance improvements where it processes the photos faster, which will be which would be nice. Um, so one of the things they mention here is an advanced feature for conversion to black and white. So that's always helpful. Um, developed predefined settings. They already have presets. Maybe they're making improvements to the preset system. Uh, face recognition so that it can go through your photos that you already have and find a face and tag it. Uh, they had something similar to this in Photoshop Elements, and um, it wasn't all that great in Elements. It'll be interesting to see if the performance of it is better in Lightroom. Uh, more sophisticated healing brush. Uh, last time uh, they updated Lightroom, they made improvements to the healing brush, and it was better, uh, but still not as good as doing your cloning in Photoshop. So again, it'll be interesting to see how much better this brush will get. Um, upright vertically, something that will help you to automatically straighten your vertical photos to make sure all the lines are straight. Uh, again, in the last version of Lightroom, uh, Lightroom 5, they did also add a bunch of tools for helping you to straighten your images. So this is probably a continuation of that. Uh, merge to HDR. This is interesting. This is something new. Uh, before to do your HDRs, you had to send them out of Lightroom to some other program like Photoshop or uh, a specific HDR editor and now if you can do it right in uh, Lightroom that would be kinda cool uh, and they also uh, seem to be adding a fusion panorama program so you can do your panoramas and your HDR right from Lightroom uh, performance gains we kinda mentioned that before that you'd be able to work a little bit faster um, Sophisticated video slideshows. Well, we have slideshows, but uh, having it a little more advanced slideshows with uh, being able to use still and movies, that would be a very nice feature to have. Right now, the slideshow module isn't uh, super useful because it doesn't always put the sound in there with the images. So I think it's time for some big improvements in the slideshow slide area. Optimized web galleries. That's another area that was really lacking in Lightroom. These other panels, I never used all that much because they weren't all that good. We'll see if they're much improved. It's claiming that they're going to use HTML5 galleries and um, that will support more browsers and mobile devices. And um, that sounds like that could be a big improvement as well. Um, integration of online sharing they sort of already have that you can get published services for places like Facebook and Flickr and I, and I do use those and those are good maybe this integration is going to be much easier to use and that would be a nice feature uh, creating photo books of course they already have that they use blurb to create their photo books and um, uh, I'm sure it's probably just going to be some updates to, you know, maybe to Blurb or whatever they're going to do. Uh, and uh, that's all that they have listed on this site. So some interesting features, nothing, you know, too hugely different except for the uh, merge to HDR and to Panorama. Uh, and I'm a little bit excited about what it could happen with the slideshows and the... Uh, 
um, and the web galleries. Those are two areas I think that really did need updating. So keep an eye out on March 20th to see if uh, it really does come out on that day. And um, also I'm creating a new course for Lightroom 6. And so hopefully I'll be able to come out with mine very soon after that with the updated features of Lightroom 6. Again, you can find out more information about this show at uh, morethanasnapshot.com.